Okay, the website I want to share with you is called Make Beliefs Comics, and comics is has an X on the end of it. I ran across this, um, I follow some people on Twitter that are educators, and they had one of these as um, one of the better ones. It does have ads down the side. They are good ads. Um, can't get rid of them. I've tried. You can create your own comic strip. There's three boxes that you can fill in, and only three. You go to www.makebeliefscomics.com, and you click the Enter here. And this is your working board. Um, several characters down here. You can scroll. They keep adding new ones, and it will say new <coughs> next to them. I'm just going to click him. He comes over into our working area. I can change his emotions here. So if I want him, I can just click on him. He pops up into the first box. I can then move my character. Click on the character and drag him wherever I want him. I can also scale him. I can make him bigger or smaller. You can bring him to the front if you've got uh, two characters on here, some words. You can also flip so he looks the other way. And if you don't like him, you can delete him. You have to remember to click over here, then click on your character. Uh, I'm There's also famous there. people in the characters, too, if anybody's curious. Because I had, like, um, Abraham Lincoln the other day, too. Yeah. Like Elvis, right there. there's Abraham Lincoln. So I can also put him up here, and I can move him around. That's an interesting conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can put balloons up there so they can talk, and you click in here. Um, and I'm going to try this with my kids with digital etiquette and cyberbullying and see what kind of cartoons they come up with. I can also scale my box down. I can move it wherever. You can also add objects and go through the arrows here to get different objects. Um, okay, maybe that one I'm done. Maybe Abe is not going to say anything. I can go to box two. I can also change background colors if I want. And if you click too many times, like if I click twice down here, it puts two of them in there. <coughs> I found that out, so I don't want that one. And I'm just going to throw in another character here. Then maybe I'm done. I can hit next. You have different options. You can review it and go back and edit. You can create a new comics from there. You can print it or you can email it. And I plan on having the students email it to me so then I can see their final product in the end. And I played around with this and I sent it to Nancy and I sent it to myself. She wasn't able to open it in, was it Internet Explorer? Wasn't it a couple of them? Yeah, and then she went to her other browser and it opened right up. I didn't have any problems. I was on Chrome in my room, and I opened my email, clicked on the link, and it brought me right to the comic that I had created. Kids don't have to sign in. They don't have to have an account. Um, that's one nice thing I look at it. So. Does it save automatically? or No. So they have to finish it and email it? Yep, yep. So... Any questions? Okay. And they recommend this, I think, grades 3 through 12, I think is what it is. So I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to try it anyway. Thank you, Lynette. Thank you. Also, when Lynette sent this to me, I did a little more further investigation on this website, and I found some really cool things, too, down below. If you scroll down, um, you can create the comics, but there's teacher resources here, too. That, um, that talks about different ways, 21 ways that you can use this in your classroom. 
So that's really cool because like even vocabulary words, social skills, and there's a lot of guidance in here, Deb, too, for you. Um, foreign language, I saw that too, so that you know they could have a conversation in foreign language. Um, all kinds of different things here. Diaries, life skill practices. Then there's more. This stuff down here, there's tons of them. There's 350 plus printables here, which again, a lot of guidancey stuff, which is great. But they have different things like emotions, for instance. If I click that, there's all these comics that are talking about emotions. So like if I click this one, for instance, it talks about feelings. And you can print this page. So you can make like coloring books or feeling books or whatever like that if you'd like. I'm going to close out of that one and go back to, yeah, I think I just have to close that to go back. Oh, no. Take that back. I'm going to hit the back button there again. And again, it's all at the bottom. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. How to play. There's other languages. You can set these to have other languages too. So you can set it for Spanish or whatever. Um, there's story ideas. How to start stories. Um, there's writing prompts. Digital writables, it's called. Um, a daily comics diary. There's these books. This is really cool, too. I liked, um, let's see, I think it was this book here, maybe. I have to see. There's these um, e-books that are on here that you can look at, and then you can print them or get them started with your own kids. Okay, so, like, if I go into this one, okay, this is what it was. This was called the Hummingbird Book. And it's an ebook, which means it's online. But it says you can type in here, right online, and then you could print it off when you're done. But it's talking about, like, um, it goes through here, memories. Okay, be grateful and remember it's saying, like, then it says, I am grateful to clasp a child's hand. And then down here, it's your turn. What are you grateful for? And so then they could type in their words. There's a happy memory one. I'm thinking about this for my own kids with my mom's passing, you know, trying to have them, you know, go through that process of, you know, happy memories, what are some things you're grateful for, things like that. Um, and it just kind of goes through different things. Someone I love dearly. So this is a really wonderful thing, I thought, too. They can go right in, they can type in, right in there, and then they print it, and it's theirs. And I think, too, it's one of those things where, you got one shot, like you got to get this done in that class time to print it. It doesn't say. So that's the only downfall I could see with that too. But very as you get down to the bottom with all those other objects, was there something called saving comics? I thought yes, it is. You're right. Saving that comics. might tell us if we can or not. Um, I think I read that, and I don't think you can. Okay. <laughs> the let's see. Create your own. They're just transferring to Word and Photoshop. Yeah, you can't save online. Yeah. They could probably use a snipping tool. You could use snipping tool or, to yeah. capture pieces of it. But there's all kinds of this. Laptop letters was a great one, too, about letters to, um, to start letters, writing a letter to somebody. But do spend a little time just clicking on all of these things. I was in here playing, and I was like, wow. Every time I clicked on something, I found something that was like, wow, this is really cool something unique, like something I had, like that typing right on the little books and being able to print that up, you don't see that very often. And I thought it was a way for students to be able to express themselves. Yeah. And not necessarily us telling them what they had to put in there. Yeah. You know, here's your topic, come up with a summary, and mm -hmm. they get to choose their characters. And that's three boxes is short and sweet, so you yeah. can write to the thing. Yeah. You don't have to. Yeah, they can much. put very much in there. So. Right. The other um, resource I wanted to show you is this other one called Storyboard That. I stumbled across this one. Again, I'm always looking for storyboard templates for teachers that are going to do video projects in their classrooms. Because for a good video project, you want them to map out what they're going to do first before they get a video camera. Because otherwise, they're goofing and, you know, you got lots of bloopers or I'm not ready. Can I do it two weeks from now? That kind of thing. So whenever you do a video project, it's really important to have them 
you know, brainstorm with their group and have a due date for that. Have a storyboard ready, have a due date for that, and you check it over and approve it before they ever get a video camera to videotape, okay? And so this is what storyboard that is like. This is one that I just put together really quickly too, but you can go ahead and you can have as many as you want as far as the boxes. You can have more than three where the other one just allows you to have three. There's all kinds of a, um, people here and they're going across here. You can scroll across. There's different folks, different um, positions and people. There's um, different sports and culture and historical people here too, um, which is kind of cool. Um, there's monsters and myths. There's animals. You can change the outfits. Those are characters and then there's scenes that you can grab too. There's just a variety of those too. Textables, again those are just your sh um, bullets. There's shapes you can put in there. There's um, web and technology symbols and you can also upload your own pictures up in here too. And again sort of similar to the thing like if you want this guy you pull him down and once you click on him then you can resize them according you know by pulling bullets. Um, you can, uh, if I click on him again, there. Then this comes up too, and you can rotate them, layer them, edit them, move them around, change their hair color um, right on the spot there. Um, that's an interesting <laughs> way. Um, but that's those are just ways you can change them and stuff too. And then you just pull them in and that kind of thing. Um, it was pretty fast, I thought, too, to be able to create these, especially with color. I thought that was kind of cool. When you get all finished, and you can move the cells around, you can add cells. Do you see that down here? You can clear all, you can undo, redo, and then you can click save here. Okay, so this one you can save in their account. They would have to log in, and then they can save them on their account. Um, but there's all kinds up here too. There's a teacher dashboard, classroom storyboards. I have not gotten to all of these yet, um, but that's something for you to definitely explore and check out. Um, you can also change the language. Look at how many languages are there. So again, if you're teaching Spanish or something, you can change the language um, and go from there too. Mary, just by looking at that, do you think the teacher needs or should set up a classroom account and then have the students like brain pop I created a class and they logged in with a code and they're all in there they each had to have their username and password but I mean just looking at manage my classroom I wonder if that's give you an easy way to manage the storyboards or see what they're yeah. doing yeah let me take a look at that and again too that might depend upon um, the age level too so I'm there let's see Oh, quick add students. You can add them right here. You can also invite or bulk add your students. You can print them and access information. You can download a spreadsheet too. Yeah. It's even it says here under 13. So if you have 13 or under, you could go this route. If it's, they're over 13, they can create their own account. So it was, it was, I just thought it was a cool different one to look at too. So. Those are just a couple resources tonight if you want to take a look at those. Any questions on those? What was the end of makes, make believe? Make it's, believes? Yeah. -E right. You can comics. maybe see it right here. Make beliefs comics dot com. Okay. That's a little bit bigger for you to see than the URL.